Down lights are a really common lighting solution in Australian homes. Uh, they contribute significantly to thermal bridging or insulation inconsistency uh, and they can also contribute to a lot of energy use, especially if they are using old style halogen lighting. Some of the benefits of recessed lighting or downlights is that they can reduce the obvious imperfections of a ceiling. They also are really good when, you've got a, when you don't have high ceilings and any pendant or low hanging lighting can potentially hit people in the head when they're walking past them. Recess lighting are all going down the path of LED retrofits at the moment. The main issue with LED lighting, especially for insulation consistency, is that you cannot cover them unless the LED driver is incapable or the transformer is incapable of operating halogen downlights. Whenever you do a retrofit of LEDs into a recessed lighting luminaire, you have to make sure that the control gear is not going to be compatible, compatible with halogen lighting. So today we're going to retrofit two of our downlight cover products, the loft mitt and the downlight mitt, over an LED luminaire which has had its transformer replaced with an LED driver. The downlight cover adds considerable value when it comes to insulation consistency because they're made out of a rock wool material so they're quite insulative. Also air tightness, they reduce airflow through the luminaire, especially if they're a gimbal type of fitting or they're ventilated like some of the LED luminaires can be. And they also give you a fire rating. They stop basically the heat from this room moving up into the roof cavity uh, or moving up through the plaster. So in a lot of circumstances in hotels or commercial sort of applications, they might have a fire rated plaster envelope in a lot of their rooms or even old people's homes. This downlight cover will actually insulate from fire moving from one room through the plaster into another area when there's a recess lighting um, luminaire which is penetrating the fire rated plaster. We're going to pull out a downlight and retrofit a downlight cover and I'll show you how to do that with a downlight mitt and a loft mitt. The loft mitt is a bit of a larger product so it gives more room for the LED luminaire to dissipate its heat into um, and the downlight mitt is obviously a smaller product. The, the downlight mitt is 220 mil high and the loft mitt is 250 mil high. All right so let's take out this LED luminaire. So if you're not comfortable doing this it's important that um, you get a professional to actually do it for you, especially if you're not sure of what sort of transformers you've got installed in your roof area. Now, another important thing is that when you do get luminaires, the best type of luminaire that you want to get is one that's actually IC rated, uh, which means it can be in contact with insulation. The issue with LED lighting is that even though they are a lot less, they get a lot less hot than, than halogen globes. Halogen globes are like little ovens they are a lot more sensitive to failing in operating in higher temperatures. This is a, an LED driver or an LED transformer. It can only be used with an LED luminaire. If we try and hook up a halogen globe to this, it will not work. So the downlight cover, to fit it up a 90 mil cutout, this is the downlight mitt. You fold it flat and then you roll it up nice and tightly. We push it up through the hole and then it bounces out and then you grab the two wire, wire fixings and you push those down into the plaster. We can even put it under the plaster like that. And then we fit the luminaire back in. And that's done. Okay, now we're going to install the loft mint through a 92 mil cutout. All right, so again, same process. We fold it and then we roll it up nice and tight. Up it goes. It fits. No problem. So we just now pop it open, move the insulation out of the way, and again, we've got to grab those wire fixings and pull them down under the plaster. It's a much tighter fit, the loft mitt, for a 92mm cutout. 
And now we can turn the light on. 